Hi, I'm Bob Cundiff, your president. And I'd like to spend a few moments with you reflecting on the title of this stewardship campaign, Building for Eternity. It's just three words, but it communicates what is at the heart of our campaign. You see, this campaign is not about concrete and steel. One day, the concrete and steel all go away, but the work that we do in this campaign lasts for eternity. It continues on forever. What we are doing here is so much bigger than the third dimension work of simply erecting a structure. What we are doing here is fourth dimension work. It's spiritual work, and as such, it reaches into eternity. Now, we have long needed a sports facility at Camp Mohaven, a gymnasium that will serve us on rainy days or cold days or when the sun goes down. But this building will also serve as a multifunction space, a large meeting space for our young people. I recently attended a youth function in which 600 young people were crowded into the cafeteria of the camp. And it was an affirmation that this project is coming right on time. This facility will accommodate groups of that size and more. It will extend the season for the entire camp and allow churches, schools, and other groups to experience the blessing of Camp Mohaven literally on a year-round basis. In addition, the building will become the new home of an extended camp meeting experience for our conference. We intend to develop Camp Mohaven so that we can host a full nine-day camp meeting. The new building will be followed by a new RV campground and a later phase for new cabins that will increase the capacity of the camp in a way that will not only bless our young people, but will allow us to bring our entire conference together. There's something special about our whole conference coming together for worship, for celebration, for vision casting, for telling stories, and for recounting God's faithfulness among us the preceding year. Tanique and I are making a sacrificial commitment to this project because we have experienced a deep conviction that God is in this and that He wants us all to press together in this project, not just to build a building, but to build for eternity. Good morning, my name is Ted Huskins and I wanna thank you for inviting me to be a part of your worship service this morning. Already you've heard the vision for building for eternity and isn't it an exciting vision? God is doing some amazing things at Camp Mohaven and we need everybody to be a part of it. And so we have been asking every pastor, every office worker, every educator throughout the conference to make a prayerful, sacrificial commitment for our young people so that this project can become a reality. And so the question that comes to your mind is, is well, what is a sacrifice? You know, the Bible is full of stories of sacrifice. We think of Abraham sacrificing Isaac. What a huge sacrifice. He loved Isaac more than anything in the world. We think about God sacrificing his own son, Jesus, on the cross, that you and I might have life. The children of Israel considered sacrifice incredibly important, and so should we. And so as you think about what a sacrifice would be for you and your family, let me tell you a story of a young man in a project very similar to this. This young man was 17 years old and he made a commitment of $17,000. When we went to talk to him about it, I said, you know, that's a big sacrifice for a young man. How do you think God will make that a reality? And he said, well, pastor, he said, it's easy. He said, I've saved $7,000. I was gonna buy a car with it. And then I work at the grocery store, I bag groceries. And so I figured out how much it was gonna cost me in gas and insurance for three years and I rounded it up a little bit to 17,000. And so that's my commitment. Instead of buying a car, putting gas in it and paying for insurance, I'm giving the money so that God's project, God's vision can become a reality. As you pray, the Lord will reveal to you what a sacrifice might be. He may want you to give a car, uh, an antique automobile, um, a coin collection, or maybe he just wants you to give from your savings or your salary on a monthly basis. However the Lord inspires you to give, please know that you won't be alone. Every employee, every member in the conference will be giving sacrificially and generously to make this project a reality. 
Thank you, and may the Lord bless you.